Hi everyone, my name is Faye Smith. I'm the owner and lead stylist of Faye Smith Agency. We're one of Canada's largest hair and makeup artist agencies and today I want to share with you some interview tips for makeup artists. So I began my career back in like 2008 or something like so long ago I can't even remember anymore and I obviously began as a student and then began with really beginner jobs where I had to submit a resume and actually attend um, a, a in-person interview um, and now of course as an agency owner I'm on the complete opposite side of things where I'm receiving the resumes and the portfolios and I'm conducting the interviews so I feel like I have a lot to share with you in this video, some really good tips. I'll let you know what I'm looking for when I'm interviewing a makeup and hair artist and the things to do for sure and the things to definitely never do. So the first thing you always want to do when you're applying for any job and especially as a makeup artist is to do your research on the company that you're applying to, for the job for. So come to the company with your application and with your portfolio with also knowledge about the company, what they do, and know what their style is and what they're looking for in their team. It's extremely impressive when someone um, includes a cover letter with their resume, just saying, you know, for example, if they were applying to become a part of Facebook Agency, I've been following Facebook Agency on, on social media for a few years, I love what you do, I would love to be one of the con contact artists that you have, you know, some information and some knowledge about what you actually do is always a very impressive way to begin. It's going to get you noticed straight away. So when you're applying to be a makeup artist for any position, honestly, the resume is such a small part of what's important compared to your portfolio. Because what's most important is that the work that you do is amazing. So prepare a really strong portfolio and absolutely never, ever, ever put any of these ridiculous social media filters on your work. And it's actually best to either have really light editing or none at all so that the person who is reviewing your portfolio can actually see what you can do. Edited images are a complete turn off to me. Um, I'll sometimes get people put these like, you, you know, you get the skin blurring ones. It is unbelievably obvious. It might not be obvious to your average person, but to a fellow professional makeup artist, it is unbelievably obvious when you use those filters and it actually does not do anything good for your work so really do avoid those filters be true with your work but make sure before you apply for the job that your work is strong enough so you're not wasting your time and you're not wasting the company's time so a lot of the time people ask me like someone might send me a portfolio and there's only four or five images in there and I ask for more work and they say to me I have a lot of iPhone photos is that okay the answer is yes Honestly, iPhones are so amazing these days that you can take fantastic pictures on your phone. Every time you do someone's makeup, take a photo. But my biggest tip to you is make sure that that photo is good. And how can you do that? Take a client outside or up against a window so that the lighting on their face is as close to natural light as possible and it's really even on their face. Kind of like what I've got on my face right now with this light. The light is great, it's lighting up my face, you can see all my makeup, all of the little details and it's really complimentary. Uh, never ever ever take a picture of someone where the light is from behind them. It's going to cause shadows on their face and it's just going to make your makeup look terrible. And Remember to really have a play around with the angles too. You'll be amazed if you just move around your com your camera how you'll, you'll find a sweet spot where that person looks truly amazing. Um, those pictures you can absolutely use in your portfolio because they're they're showcasing your work so well, the work looks good, and it's flattering to the person that you're taking the picture of. So I highly recommend that you get good at taking iPhone photos and even work on some, some light editing um, of your own photos too. It's unfortunate that, that you know you go and you work with customers or you do photo shoots and it can take a long time to get the pictures back to add to your portfolio. So if you actually take pictures of your own work, you have 100% control over your portfolio always. So yes, you can absolutely use iPhone photos, but if you've taken a photo and it's not good, just omit it. It's not doing anything good to your portfolio. Having said that, professional photos always look extremely impressive. So make sure to do a lot of collaborations and get photographs of your work from professional photographers too. So when you're putting together the portfolio that you're gonna submit for your application, again, do research on the company that you're applying for. 
If you're applying for my company, we specialize in bridal, special events, and photo shoot. All of our work is beauty, it's glamour, it's natural. There's absolutely no um, special effects or fantasy or body painting in what my company offers to our customers. So don't include those pictures in your portfolio, even if you're amazing at them. You could add a little line saying, I'm also extremely qualified in in body painting or I'm really great at, at special effects as well uh, just to let the company know in case there ever is a job that pops up you know it's good to let people know what you specialize in and what makes you different but if you're applying to a bridal company include your bridal work your beauty work your glamour work anything that's a little bit more natural or editorial and absolutely erase anything where you've painted butterflies on someone's face or made them look like a tiger um, it's just not relevant and it's again not adding any Anything positive to your application so that's a little help when it comes to putting your your portfolio together obviously your resume is gonna list um, you know what your actual work experience is so far I know when people send me their resumes I take a very quick scan uh, you know if you've worked at Sephora or you've worked for another bridal company those are wonderful things um, but it doesn't necessarily sway me into hiring you more than somebody else it's actually the portfolio that is gonna make me pick you over somebody else so really focus on the portfolio and your interview preparation um, I have do have more huge tips for you uh, if you you're attending an in-person interview um, if any company is gonna hire you as a makeup artist you need to make sure that you are showcasing that you are unbelievably reliable because in the makeup and hair world there really is no room for error um, you might be working on someone's wedding where there's absolutely no option for you to be late um, or not show up or you might be working on a video production where you know millions of dollars are invested in this day and if you don't show up you've completely ruined it for everybody so it is only makeup and hair but it's makeup and hair it's like life and death in our industry so make sure you show up to your interview on time or up to 15 minutes early I say earlier than 15 minutes is kind of just annoying for the person who's uh, interviewing you because they're obviously a busy person uh, but up to 15 minutes early and never a minute late if for some reason something has happened and you are going to be late call the company and let them know and apologize um, you know it is reasonable that someone just has a bad day and misses the bus or the bus breaks down but just call and never leave that person ha hanging so reliability is absolutely extremely important and you really want to showcase that in your just general ethic even with answering emails be be prompt with answering emails um, ask to schedule a phone call show that you're reliable and that you're organized uh, as a professional makeup artist and especially in the freelance world uh, you are responsible for organizing and maintaining your own schedule therefore you must be a very organized person so really show off that you're organized and you're reliable and you will absolutely be guaranteed to get the as I previously mentioned in the makeup and hair world there's a lot of people that are relying on you to be there so the rule is absolutely no bailing do not bail obviously sometimes things happen and be responsible if something has happened that is completely out of your control you've had a family emergency and you absolutely cannot show up find a suitable replacement for yourself so you're not completely bailing and leaving the company or the client hanging um, again being as reliable as humanly possible but really do avoid bailing save the bailing for absolute emergencies when you really really need them if you showcase to your employer or potential employer or to colleagues or to customers that you are a reliable person you will be forgiven when something does really happen and you really need people to understand so be reliable Another way to get a lot of brownie points is to offer extra help if you have the time. For example, if you've been hired to work on a big booking, again, let's say it's a wedding and there's lots of artists there and you can see that someone's falling behind, they're you know, stressed, need a little help, having issues with some lashes sticking on or you know if there's someone that wants a little extra help or something just be a kind person and offer the extra help if you're available to to do it you'll be amazed how you out of the crowd of artists are going to stand out and be remembered the most you'll be requested again and your employer if they hear that good news which they probably will hear wonderful news about you from the customer they're going to pick you again too so just go the extra mile and really you know, be a good person and, and try your hardest. And if you can stay an extra 10 minutes and help, do it. 
All right, everyone, those are all of my Makeup Eyes interview tips I've taken you through, uh, preparing for an interview, preparing your resume, preparing your portfolio, and then how to really, uh, you know, showcase and have a great work ethic. If you follow all these tips and you're a great makeup artist, you're guaranteed to get the job. If you're not quite there with the skill yet, make sure to keep practicing because practice really does make perfect. And good luck. If you are a makeup and hair artist in Vancouver or Toronto, we are definitely scouting right now and we are hiring like crazy 2022 is absolutely the busiest year ever so please do get in touch with us we have an application form on our website facemith.ca and we would absolutely love to see your work and to hear from you so please do apply if you enjoyed this video please do remember to subscribe and leave me any comments if you have any questions I'm happy to help you with more and more interview tips thanks so much for watching you guys bye